Hi everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate today and show you how to make your own hot wax. So watch carefully and be careful. Okay, so I'm out of the frame but that's okay. So I've got my induction heater and uh, you know, I've got one and a half cups of um, powdered sugar. I've got half a lime. I've got a little bit of water, very little bit of water. And one spoon of salt, all right? So I actually powdered my sugar because it takes a long time to melt otherwise. So we've got, oops. There you are. So I'm gonna just put this on, on medium, not too hot, and empty the sugar in here. see it right that's why I'm sitting right here and you know I'm not doing this in the kitchen because my cook is gonna drive me out of there and a little bit of water a wee bit of water I put half a dimbu and slightly less than one teaspoon of salt all right Let's do this. Melt it. And this is going to start boiling really fast. And you have to get it to a nice honey brown. So in five to seven minutes, it starts boiling really nice and bubbly. And remember you have to get it to a nice golden honey colored brown. It's a golden brown. It's still white as you can see it. And keep stirring. Constantly stir. See it's slowly turning golden brown. So that and don't put put it on very high heat because then it'll just burn and and then you've lost the, the whole deal. But um, nice and golden brown is what it's gotta get. color really fast this is good enough so now what I have here is I've removed it from the fire and I've got a big bowl of water because we've got to keep dipping our hands in water I've got this slab of uh, marble I don't want to use my own table because <laughs> because I did it yesterday and oh my god it took forever to clean up so this of course I can just take it to the wash basin and clean so what you do is you have to wet this marble all right as you can see I've got my can you see that so it's a beautiful golden brown and very gently Pour it on the marble. Okay, now this sets really fast, okay? So you've got to be careful. Okay, let's get this camera a little bit more to the side. That's cooling really, really fast. So I'm pushing towards the center. If 
you don't, then it just hardens up and then it becomes really difficult. most people don't do this at home they go to the salons and do it but also please don't do this on wood because you'll never be able to do this what I'm doing right now and a piece of marble is good situation where you can pull it out with your hands so both your hands are wet it's a little hot it's not too hot though the lighter it starts to make from dark honey golden brown to much lighter so when you start sticking dip your hands again so if you've molded it and molded it till it comes to this consistency and this color like a beautiful golden color yeah and then you can take whatever little bit that you want and use it as in spread it over your hand and use it just that as a wax but I don't have hair on my hands so I can't show it to you but the rest of it after you use it you can just take it and put it in a plastic bag I use a ziplock stick it in your fridge and every time you want it you just take it out and um, stick it in the microwave for like 10 or 15 13 minutes max and then take it and start molding it again and you can take a little bit out and you can use it again on your underarms on your hands your legs it's pretty safe and it's very very natural stuff that we've used we've used no chemicals whatsoever so you've learned how to use your i mean make your own wax the thing is what i want you to know is even the the wax before we start if you don't want to make it into this this consistency and if you do have strips and if you you can make do with all that then I suggest you take it, pour it into a, you know, a heat resistant container and keep it aside. And every time you want to use it, dip it into a bowl of hot water. When it melts, take a little uh, a, a, a knife and use it on your hands. When it's, I mean, you have to be careful about the heat. Put a waxing strip and strip it off. So that's how you make your own wax. Yeah, that was... That was something else. This one you can actually store and 
use it yet again and enjoy make your own wax and stay clean and healthy and it's actually um you know it's very much part of your grooming that you stay hair free on your uh, arms and underarms and legs take care have fun